My group here at the University of Toronto has discovered a game-changing approach to understanding the genetic roots of disease. This has allowed us to look at the genetic determinants of diseases such as autism, cancers, and spinal muscular atrophy, which is a leading cause of infant mortality. And we can do this in a completely different way than what was done before. So previously what researchers did is they would try to correlate mutations with the disease. But what we can do is we use computational deep learning techniques to read the text of the genome and interpret how it works. So that allows us to look at a mutation and figure out why it causes the disease. So the genome was sequenced in 2003. So why did it take us so long to figure this out? When the genome was sequenced, it was found to be three billion letters long, but it was hard to make sense of it. And one interesting quote is from the famous biologist Eric Lander, who said, genome bought the book hard to read. So he was pointing out that we had the genome, but we couldn't make sense of it. And so what's taken so long is for us to figure out how to read the text of the genome and determine how that text maps into important biochemical components like proteins. So what our system enabled us to do is essentially learn how to read the text of the genome and find mutations that disrupt that text. And what was surprising is we found a lot of mutations that are far away from the parts of the genome where people have been looking for disease mutations before. These are called protein coding regions of the genome. So where does this take us? I believe the technique we've discovered will transform medicine. We're going to generate a map of all possible mutations and which ones are likely to cause disease. We have a long list of diseases in my lab that we're looking into and at the top of this list is autism. Another interesting aspect of this work is personalized medicine. We all have many mutations and the question is which of those mutations are benign and which of them may cause disease and what kind of personalized medical treatments are needed take care of our individual needs.